In this video, we're going to practice solving equations, natural logarithmic equations, and inequalities. And what we have to remember here is the same idea that natural logs and base e are inverse operations of each other. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to isolate my natural log. I'm going to get rid of this coefficient of 5 by dividing both sides by 5. That gives me the natural log of 6x equals 8 fifths. Now that my natural log is isolated by itself, I can apply the inverse operation, which is to make the left side and the right side the powers of e. So e to the natural log of 6x is equal to e to the 8 fifths. That allows my natural log and e to cancel each other out. And so I get 6x equals e to the 8 fifths power. What I like to do, again, is I always like to solve for the perfect answer, not the decimal approximation, before I go to my calculator. So I'm going to get rid of my coefficient. I'm going to divide both sides by 6. And that gives me the actual answer of x equals e to the 8 fifths power divided by 6. However, at this stage right here, this 6x equals e to the 8 fifths power, if you want, you can at that point go to your calculator. And you can type in e to the power of 8 fifths. Now, first you need to know where your e to the power is. Well, remember, e is the inverse of natural log. So I'm going to look at my natural log button, and I look above it, in blue, you see e to the x power. So I'm going to hit second natural log. That gives me e to the power. And I'm going to type in 8 divided by 5. And that gives me 4.953. So if you want, at this stage, 6x equals e to the 8 fifths, you can go to your calculator and find out what is e to the 8 fifths. That would give me 6x equals 4.953 and then divide both sides by 6 and that would give me my decimal approximation for it and so I'm just going to hit divided by 6 and I get 0.8255 which round of three decimal places is going to be 0.826 so x equals 0.826. Many students find it easier to find the value of the e to the power before solving like I did in the green here. Other students, some find it easy just to solve for x and then type this in their calculator for it. Either way is acceptable. So let's do a logarithmic inequality involving our natural logs. So I have the natural log of the quantity 2x minus 3 squared is greater than 6. I am going to apply my power rule here. I'm going to take this exponent and I'm going to bring it down to make it my coefficient of my natural log. So I really have 2 times the natural log of 2x minus 3. Is greater than 6. And now I'm going to get rid of my coefficient of 2 by dividing both sides by 2. That isolates my natural log, which is the whole point. So natural log of the quantity 2x minus 3 is greater than 3. Now that the natural log is isolated, I can take e to the power of both sides. That allows me to cancel out my natural log and e. And that just gives me. 2x minus 3 is greater than e cubed. To make it easier, I am going to go right to my calculator and find the power of e cubed. I'm going to find the value of e cubed. So I'm going to clear this out. Second natural log e cubed. That gives me 20.086 if I am rounding.
to three decimal places. So that tells me I'm really working with the inequality 2x minus 3 is greater than 20.086. And to solve this, I would add 3 to both sides and get 2x is greater than 23.086. And then I would divide both sides by 2 of the inequality. And so I have 23.086 divided by 2. And that gives me 11.543. So x is greater than 11.543. There is my value for x with this inequality. Again, I'm going to go ahead and do the easy route of find the value of e to the power and then go from there because it's easier to solve that way for many students. So hopefully you found this solving logarithmic equations involving natural logs and inequalities easy to understand. What you do is you isolate the natural log first, then take e to the power of both sides since that's the inverse operation. That cancels out the natural log and the e and you work with the values from there on basic solving steps.